Activists with petitions demanding women's suffrage. Japan, 1924. American French dancer, singer, and actress Josephine Baker in a carriage pulled by an ostrich. Budapest, 1928. Charlie Chaplin at a costume party, 1925. Backlit tires developed by Goodyear in 1961. The photo shows President John F. Kennedy and First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy arriving at Love Field Airport in Dallas, Texas on November 22, 1963. Shockingly, this photo was taken less than an hour before President Kennedy's death. It serves as a somber reminder of the fragility of life. Native American looking at the newly built Transcontinental Railroad, 1868. Emotions of young ladies at a concert of the Beatles, Plymouth, 1963. Louis de Funès, one of the greatest comedic actors of all time. In 1980, de Funès was at the height of his career and had already become a household name. He was renowned for his unforgettable performances in films such as La Grande Vadrouille, The Mad Adventures of Rabbi Jacob, and The Gendarme series. His ability to deliver impeccable comedic timing and facial expressions made him a beloved icon of French cinema. Despite his passing in 1983, his influence on comedy and cinema continues to be felt to this day. A vintage poster from Brazil. The poster reads, Save Brazil, and was created in 1935 during a time of political turmoil in the country. It was created as an anti-communist propaganda poster, reflecting the political tensions of the time. Elton John traveling in his private jet, 1974. Swiss Airlines VIP class, 1960s. Smoko during the bridge construction, New Zealand, 1959. Traveling salesman, 1900s. In 1969, David Scott stepped out of the Apollo 9 spaceship into space. This was a groundbreaking moment for space exploration, as it marked the first time a human being had left the confines of a spacecraft and ventured into the vast expanse of space. David Scott's bravery and dedication paved the way for future space explorers and expanded our understanding of the universe. Let us take a moment to appreciate this historic achievement and the awe-inspiring beauty of space. An average immigrant family in New York, back in 1900. At that time, New York was a melting pot of immigrants from all over the world, looking to start a new life in America. Many struggled to make ends meet, working long hours in factories and living in cramped tenement buildings, an original needle case from the USA, dating back to 1941. The needle case, which was likely used to store sewing needles, is a fascinating artifact from a time long gone. It provides a glimpse into the lives of people in the early 20th century and reminds us of the value they placed on small, everyday objects. The case may seem insignificant, but it was an essential tool for many people at the time. It's remarkable how such a small item can tell us so much about our past. Brigitte Bardot in the 1960s. Bardot was a French actress, singer, and fashion model who rose to fame during the 1950s and 1960s. She starred in many films, including And God Created Woman, which made her an international icon of French cinema. Bardot's unique style and beauty made her a popular fashion icon, inspiring many women around the world. Her legacy continues to this day, with many people still admiring her talent, beauty, and influence. Dentistry in ancient Egypt. Dental care has come a long way over the years, and ancient Egyptian dentistry was no exception. Egyptians had a strong focus on dental hygiene, and they used a variety of methods to care for their teeth, including toothpaste made from powdered ashes of ox hooves, myrrh and eggshells. 
Ancient Egyptians also performed basic dental procedures such as filling cavities and treating abscesses. They were even known to make false teeth from materials such as wood or animal teeth. The Egyptians may not have had access to modern dental tools, but they were still able to maintain healthy teeth and gums through their innovative techniques. Historic moment captured in 1904, featuring Belgian miners in an elevator. The image showcases the lives of coal miners who descended deep underground every day to work in the dark and cramped spaces of the mines. These miners risked their lives every day to provide for their families and contribute to the economy.